standby in the control room. The levels are set. Switches are thrown. Generators begin to turn. The water flows through to the transmitter valves. The valve filaments begin to glow. The lights in the studios come up on the dimmers. The producer is waiting at his microphone to speak his last word to the artist. The controllers are ready on vision and sound. The vision and sound are on. The station goes on the air. So after, after after the whole after that day in particular, how did you feel about it? Was there a sense of well, you know we celebration in the community? Yeah, we had it in the Victoria Park. Oh, okay. They were all celebrating. It's what you call celebrate, <laughs> you know, talking in the crowd. And oh. Then I went home. My mother used to say, "Don't know where to go from." Yeah. I was the only one in the family. It was like that. So I'll take it you had a sense of accomplishment, something yeah. you were oh, proud yeah. of, basically. Oh, yeah, that we won. Good feeling. And they've never passed yeah. since. Yeah. Never. Yeah. They've never passed. But, you see, when they when they left the Jewish people alone, they started on the, on, what do you call them, colour people? Or, yeah. Yeah, they, they started on them. They had a terrible life with them. And was, it, was it more political? Because a lot of yeah. young people who I've spoken to said... They're, they're not interested no. in politics because they don't trust politicians. That's right. You know? It's so, what they say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So why was it different when you were younger? Because we had nothing to do as well. Yeah. So you joined... Uh, I joined up with the communists then because we used to have rambles there yeah. and, you know, marching and all this. It was excitement. Yeah. Because you didn't have the money. Yeah. We didn't have money, I, I think. So when I got married, I owned... Two pound fifty a week. Yeah. I know it was worth much more than now, but you would live. You, you know, we had to live. Yeah. So things are different. Yeah. So now, can yeah. you imagine now? Yeah. They've got to have everything that's going, televisions and the iPads and all that. Yeah. You couldn't do it. Yeah. Yeah. I remember Christmas when it was Christmas. I would fill my Christmas stocking, put the stocking up. I'd get a bit of coal, a tangerine, yeah. and an outfit, a chocolate outfit. <laughs> that was my Christmas. But yeah. Could you imagine now yeah. doing it? I work with a lot of young people, similar age to yourself at the time, yeah. and so I'm just trying to think of organising a lot of young people like that at this day and age for a strong message like that. You know, I just don't see it happening as much as, Never. you know, as much as what happened back then. So it's really interesting. I think the whole thing is we haven't got enough clubs for the children. Yeah. You've got to give them something to do. When my children were young, we had a club here in Hanbury mm. Street called the Brady Club. And they would, from school, they would go there and they'd be there till seven o'clock. Marvellous, they learned everything there. Mm. Even photography, and they used to take them out, you know, it was wonderful. Yeah. Sorry. But they haven't got this today. There's a reason for everything, uh, Boris, okay? And think about the amount of times you are cutting and cutting and cutting, and then you're putting off youth fees, okay? I've, I've got so much friends who actually want to go to university, but I've stopped, okay? What do you think nowadays when you see protests or you see, I know it's not the same, but when you see riots, it, you know, what, what well, do you think? Some of them I agree with, but I hate when they get in and they start fighting and that, I hate that. Yeah. I don't like that. You can protest walking along, shouting what you want to, carry your banners, but you don't have to fight. That's what I don't like when they come away from the marching and they go and do something terrible, go over with paint or that I don't like. I don't, it's got everything out of hand, I think. Well, what did you make of the riots that happened last year? And the, uh, they were terrible. 
They were terrible. They were out for thieving, that's all. That is what I think. Because there were some people that were well off who were taking things. I don't know what to do with it. All right, the fella got shot. It's bad, but they should, the police should have told him what happened. But they never. And this is what calls you, but you don't have to fight all over the country for that. No, I don't know what to do with that at all. Even round here, the windows were smashed in. No need for that. No, it's a half of what goes on, there's no need.